Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the CJRB Kicker. Um, comes in at about $44 or so. You get the G10 scales with the D2 blade. Another D2 G10 knife. Um, but hey, they, they work. I got this particular one really for the lock. This is their new recoil lock. Um, very similar to uh, like Benchmade's Axis Lock. Um, there's a few other brands, Sog, and uh, see this Ganzo has has a version of it. Um, but Benchmade's been doing it for 30 years or so. Um, but anyway, this this one's a little bit different. Instead of having it milled out right there, like in like in most of them. Uh, they've got it connected uh, to a uh, little little lever here that comes up on top. Um, so I'm I'm actually a pretty big fan of this. The you know the, the pivot on here is not super snappy, um, but it's it's workable for for a forty four dollar knife. It's not a big deal. Um, it gets the job done. But the the lock is is pretty cool. It's um, you can you can pull it down with both fingers. You can do one like that. You know you can you can disengage the lock without fingers in the way. Um, which is always always nice. It's it takes some practice to get it to go all the way in. It tends to want to um, kind of bounce. Hard to under, hard to explain it, but as it's going around, it's hitting that curve in the blade right there, and so um, it kind of peaks on the torque about right there, and then once it gets past it, though, it snaps right in. So uh, keeps it closed. Also, you can see until you hit about right there where it'll come open. Um, so, I I like it. It has a good fidget factor. Um, you know, you can release it like that, and then um, if your hand's up far enough, it'll it'll hit your finger, and then you can get out of the way and close it. Um, there's probably a dozen ways to to close this guy, but I've I've kind of adopted that one. Pointer finger, pull it down, and then shut it. Easy peasy. Um, has a deep carry pocket clip with a just reversible tip side up only. Um, has this, I like this clip point here. Blade, that's the, again, D2, Stonewash D2. Um, fairly high flat grind on there. Um, it's not going to be super slicey, but... You know, it'll, it'll, for most people's EDC use, I think it'll be fine. And then you get that nice clip point there where it's nice and strong. But if you do have some tacks where you need to, you know, penetrate with the tip there, um, you should be able to do it just fine. Uh, it's not going to be like a um, dagger point or something, but um, for most people's use, I think it'll it'll do the job. Um, very good er ergonomics. You have this nice swoop where you can get in there. My fingers lay in there really really well, and then with with it coming up and having uh, the tab sticking out, you're like you're you're pretty good to go there. Um, one worry a little bit would be. If you're doing hard tasks and accidentally pull that back, it doesn't take much. You know, if you're trying to work on something and you just pull that back just a little bit, it's going to let go. Um, so, you know, you have to either be really cognizant of that or just keep your thumb down to the side. Um, if you're doing anything real crazy, 
self-defense or I don't know and you know stabbing at something and then it comes and hits it it might close to but I guess um, I haven't tried it on haven't gone crazy on some cardboard but I'm wondering if you're going through a bunch of cardboard if it would hit that seems unlikely it's set back a little bit but um, yeah, just something to be aware of the G10 has a really nice texture on it um, even if you got wet hands sweaty hands oily hands whatever I think you know, I, I doubt you're gonna have some slipping issues with that um, so that's so yeah overall I think it's a pretty good $44 spent on this um, it's hard to go wrong and let's see the the weight four and a half ounces on there not too shabby three and a half inch blade um, so it's a little heavy but not nothing uh, it's gonna weigh you down too much I don't think fit and finish is as good as all CGRBs um, you know, they've got the screws inset there I'm not gonna snag there's not so much of a texture on here that it's gonna tear your pants up too much um, I like the I assume that's brass around there looks nice they've got a few different colors varieties of this um, let's see let's see how much the uh, yeah so they've got carbon fiber um, black and green G10 and then all looks like all of them have the D2 so I would definitely go with the the G10 that I've said in other videos that carbon fiber is just too slick like on this guy it looks pretty it's nice but not super functional um, so just to let you know if, if you want it just to for show you can go with carbon fiber if you want it to actually be useful and, and not slippery uh, go with the G10 so yeah anyway that's my take um, getting close to 100 subscribers we'll have some kind of giveaway or something when we hit 100 uh, so appreciate every one of you um, keep watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe and y'all have a good day thanks